Hello everybody, uh, remember the video uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, where we went to Yamsa and uh, the plan was that we're gonna go and buy like new dirt bike for Johanna and it didn't go so well because uh, it was a wrong year model and you know the bike wa were a little bit sketchy so we didn't buy it guess guess what we have now we have now completely new dirt bike for Johanna Boom! What do we have here? God damn boys! <laughs> Brand new Yamaha 250 for this guy. Look how happy he is. <laughs> okay, open it up. Oh my god. What we have here is it Honda? <laughs> oh my god, you were so lucky. There is KTM inside the box. <laughs> here it is. Brand new. Now the soil on now. Oh my god. You get blue wheels. Look. These wheels are awesome. And here is all the parts what we're gonna change. You want us uh, FMX suspension? We're gonna change this uh, rear subframe, handlebars, the seat, and yeah, the front number plate. And the reason why we are changing all of this because we're gonna do, we're gonna modify this bike to a uh, FMX bike because Johanna is doing freestyle motocross a lot and here we have his old bike yep Bling bling. Lift the bike off from the cage. Oh my god. Yamaha 250 
Uh, year model is 2019, and can you believe that this bike right here is 2009? And they are pretty much the same bike. That's why we can swap the suspension and all the parts like easily because they are the same bike. 10 years, no improvement at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but if you have like maybe Yamaha has done like the best dirt bike 10 years ago so there is absolutely nothing what they have to change I don't know but look at this wheel you know last video I know was like the last video but I had these gold speed supermoto wheels they were they were like black and gold but this blue is pretty good looking Johanna is one of those dudes who are like who want to do everything by by himself to his bike so we can stand by and and follow what he does okay now he's taking off the <laughs> Four cars there. That is that is what you need to do when you're changing front suspension. Unbelievable commentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Soon we should have uh, the front suspension fork coming off from the bike. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. There we go. It's off. Now we can change that new one to the old one. And the reason why he's changing <laughs> the front suspension is because if you ride freestyle motocross you have to have like super hard suspension because it's the number one safety what, what you will have because uh, with, the, with the soft, soft suspension you will broke your legs if you jump too long or too short. You know, meanwhile when Johanna is building, rebuilding the front Front suspension, let's find out what you have here. This game with the bike. The number plate. What the fuck, new piston? New piston. This is a completely new piston set. There is beer bearings and rings and everything. I didn't know that you got new piston set with the new bike. Owner's manual. Like a couple thousand pages right there. What do we have here? Yep. Is this like normal? That you get all this stuff with the new bike? Really? If, if you know is this a normal that you get all these spare parts with the brand new Japanese like the brand new Yamaha. You know, comment below because I'm pretty interesting, interested to know that is this completely normal. But it's a good deal, you know. There is a new pistons and everything. What is there? Handlebars. Yeah, you ain't gonna need these. Because you get the freestyle motocross handlebars, and these are a little bit like higher. Wait, then we have a new jets, couple tools. You know, I had this really weird dream last night. Do you know the Terminator movies? 
it came true, you know. I were at my home with my with my friend. We were fixing our bikes and all of a sudden blackout. All the power went off. And then we looked outside and there were this big blue explosion on the horizon. And after that the sky nest has took over and you know all the fucking robot started to like chase us. It was it was scary. And the dream ended when I was on the beach driving with this 1.6 liter uh, Clio, Renault Clio, <laughs> and there was this really soft beach and I got stuck because that fucking piece of shit didn't go nowhere and I woke up and now I'm here so that was my storytelling time and look here the bike is almost ready Oh yes! Now you're gonna change the rear suspension. Rear shock. Ta-da! And here we have the rear shock. And we're gonna change this shock to that shock right there. And because Johanna wants that his dirt bike looks like his own, uh, we're gonna use this brand new uh, black edition Uber tape and we're gonna mix, mix it with this blue. And Mikko, is this tapes like brand new? Yes. Yes, okay. So these tapes are brand new and the link, if you are interested, the link is on the description, but anyway, look what we have here already. Uh, this is the original. This is the original graphics. Boom! It's not done yet, but it looks already good. Uh, Johanna is changing the subframe now, and the reason why we are doing this is because, you know, original subframes. They go straight here and you need to have uh, uh, crab holes on your uh, freestyle motocross dirt bike. So you need to do holes on an on a air filter box and the side number plates. And if, uh, if, the, if the subframe is original, you can see that it goes from here to there and here is the seat. So it's really hard to grab it because it's so big. So you need to modify the subframe that it, it goes just underneath the seat. We ain't gonna destroy the brand new subframe because we already have this old uh, modified subframe. Hey boys and girls, remember always if you uh, tape something, it doesn't matter if it's Uber tape or you know, if you put any stickers at all in your bike, remember to heat those like really well because without heat they come off sometimes pretty easily. First start! Oh 
Behind the shop. I'm so high up there. Almost! <laughs> Your phone is broken now. <laughs> Almost. One of the best looking Yamaha dirt bikes what we have had in our workshop and because this is brand new bike uh, you have to run it like uh, with a 3% fuel mix like a couple of full uh, fuel tanks and then it should be good. We have now there uh, a little over 3% fuel mix. Johanna, go and do backflip. Because you promised that you're gonna flip that thing. Okay. <laughs> 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 Ha, ha, ha.